Hey guys, Florida Bassmasters 2. Uh, we're just going to show you how to throw a cast net today, a couple ways. I'm going to throw it, show you my way of throwing it. Uh, this works just better for like a little bit smaller net. This is a pretty big one, I guess, but I'm just going to show you. Alright, so I take the first loop, put it under my index finger, and make sure I don't let go of that one until the end. Then I take the next, all the rest of them, put it under these three fingers, and keep going until you run out of rope. So I got my first loop under this finger, and the rest of them are under this finger. So I'm only going to release these three. Pull this up. Grab the net. With your three fingers. The ones that have all the other stuff. So you can just know that you're only going to let go of those, those right there. And you take it. You probably don't want to bite the lead. It can give you lead poisoning. Right in the rope, pick it up a little bit deeper, make a couple spins, go right, sink to the bottom, pull tight. Just a couple little bait fish. Mm, you got a lot. So he's back now. That's a little sunfish. And now Nathaniel's gonna show you the other way to throw it. Over the shoulder, which you usually will do for bigger nets, because uh, if you do the way that I just showed you, anything bigger than that probably won't open all the way. So we're gonna switch here. Sorry for the interruption. Hey, uh, it's Nathaniel right here. I'm gonna show you a different way to throw the cast net. It's pretty similar, but uh, it's if, it's easier if you don't have as much room. Uh, really, I start off. One second. Get it untangled a little bit. All right. So really, I just start off. You can make the rope adjustable to go on your wrist, but normally I just pull it as tight as I can so it doesn't fall off your wrist. And then I just go arm's length down, come back up, arm's length down. And keep doing that until you get to the, where it breaks off into all the strings. And I grab it right there with my hand. And I pull this up right here. Get it all situated. Grab the very top of the net and go about halfway down. Oh, halfway, and grab it right there, all in this hand. And then I bring one of the legs up, lead pieces, uh, weight stuff, put it uh, in your mouth, or you can grab the string. And then what you do is you go about an arm's length down, and then grab another <coughs> piece of lead. And then you just go to one side. Throw it like a frisbee and then let go of everything. Because it's tight, it's going to be tight on your wrist so it won't fall off your wrist. Ready? Just like this. Let it sink. Oh, not too good of a throw, but. Let it sink. Okay. I'll try to throw a better one in a second here. That one I messed up a little bit. Alright, but what's cool about that, got a couple of bait fish, what's cool about that is whenever you pull in, it kind of goes the arm's length, and then you're all set for another cast, just like that. Then you just pull it right back up, grab it up on top, go halfway, and then bring it all on your hand. One up, put another one in your hand, and kind of come back around, and just throw it like a fish. Let it
So yeah. Pretty much two ways how to cast a cast net. Uh, yeah, so you can get those at like Walmart or anything really. Uh, probably a good one to start off. You've never thrown a cast net. Don't know. I didn't have any idea. Uh, like a six foot probably. Six foot's pretty good to start off with. It's really easy. Uh, and then you can keep moving up from there. I think they get it up to a little bigger than 12 feet. Uh, yeah, well, you get them at Walmart. I think they sell for around $30. Pretty good. Uh, every time after you're done, make sure you don't have any holes in it because that could be a big problem. You can catch anything from in fresh water to basically anything. And then on um, the salt, you can keep. On the salt, you can keep trout, redfish, snook, sheep's head, flounder, croaker, Spanish and king mackerel. Uh, basically all the game fish, most of the game fish, and then unregulated species like blowfish if you don't want to keep that for some reason. So anything like that. Alright, Florida Bass Masters 2. Hope that helped you guys out a little bit. See y'all next time.